Speaking section. The speaking section tests your ability to communicate in English in an academic setting. During the test, you will be presented with four speaking questions. The questions ask for a response to a single question, a talk, or a lecture. The prompts and questions are presented on time. You may take notes as you listen, but notes are not graded. You may use your notes to answer the questions. Some of the questions ask for a response to a reading passage and a talk or a lecture. The reading passages and the questions are written, but the directions will be spoken. Your thinking will be evaluated on both the fluency of the language and the accuracy of the content. You will have 15 to 20 seconds to prepare and 45 to 60 seconds to respond to each question. Typically, a good response will require all of the response time and the answer will be complete by the end of the response time. You will have about 17 minutes to complete the speaking section. A clock on the screen will show you how much time you have to prepare each of your answers and how much time you have to record each response. You will now be asked a question about a familiar topic. After you hear the question you will have 15 seconds to plan your response and 45 seconds to speak. Do you agree that it was easier in the past to predict which careers or jobs would lead to a stable, successful future? You will now read a short passage and then listen to a conversation on the same topic you will then be asked a question about the passages after you hear the question you will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak you have 45 seconds to read the passage below. Listen to two students discussing this article. Hey, did you hear about the proposed student carpool program? Seems like a good idea to reduce traffic around campus, especially during peak hours. I agree. Parking can be a nightmare, and all those cars idling in line add to the pollution. A carpool program could help with that. Yeah, but wouldn't it be kind of awkward carpooling with strangers? What if they have bad habits or play annoying music? That's a concern but the program could have a matching system based on preferences and destinations. I remember my cousin's university had a similar program with an app. You could see profiles of potential carpool partners beforehand. An app with profiles sounds a lot less intimidating. Plus, you could probably choose people with similar schedules or living areas for a more convenient ride. Exactly. And carpooling could save money on gas, especially for students who commute from further away. It might even encourage some people to consider giving up their cars entirely if they have reliable carpool options. Interesting point. Less cars on the road could mean less parking needed, freeing up valuable space on campus. Overall, it seems like a win-win for everyone. I agree. The environment benefits students save money and there's potentially less traffic congestion. I'd be willing to try the carpool program and see how it goes. The woman expresses her opinion about the proposal described in the letter. 
briefly summarize the proposal. Then state her opinion about the proposal and explain the reasons she gives for holding that opinion. You will now read a short passage and then listen to a lecture on the same topic. You will then be asked a question about the passage. After you hear the question you have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. You have 45 seconds to read the passage below. You may begin reading now. Now listen to part of a lecture in a marketing class. Today, we will delve into the concept of signaling quality and explore how it ensures confidence in product purchases. One example of signaling quality can be observed in the use of brand reputation. Brands with a long-standing reputation for delivering high-quality products signal reliability and excellence to consumers. For instance, consider Apple, a brand known for its innovative and premium devices. When consumers see the Apple logo, they associate it with quality and are more likely to have confidence in their purchase decisions. Another example of signaling quality is through customer reviews and testimonials. In the era of online shopping, customer feedback plays a crucial role in signaling the quality of products. Positive reviews and ratings act as social proof, assuring potential buyers that the product has met the expectations of previous customers. When consumers see a product with numerous positive reviews, they are more inclined to trust the quality and make a purchase. Explain how the example from the professor's lecture illustrates the concept of signaling quality.
You will now listen to part of a lecture, you will then be asked a question about it after you hear the question you will have 20 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. Listen to part of a lecture in a biology class. Today, we will explore the special features that help animals move around in a mountainous environment. Mountains present unique challenges such as steep slopes, rugged terrain, and varying altitudes. To adapt to these conditions, animals have developed remarkable strategies and physical attributes. One notable feature is the presence of strong limbs and muscular bodies. Mountain-dwelling animals like mountain goats and ibexes have evolved powerful leg muscles that enable them to traverse steep slopes with ease. Their robust bodies provide stability and balance, allowing them to navigate treacherous terrain and maintain their footing on rocky surfaces. Another important adaptation is specialized hooves or feet. Animals like bighorn sheep possess concave hooves with a hard outer edge, providing excellent traction on rocky surfaces. These hooves act as natural climbing boots, allowing them to grip narrow ledges and scale steep cliffs. Similarly, snow leopards have large furry paws that act as snowshoes, providing flotation on deep snow and enhancing their mobility in mountainous regions. Using the examples of mountain goats and bighorn sheep from the lecture, explain two ways that animals adapt to moving in a mountainous environment.